But in San Antonio's Alamo Heights School District, some teachers are using a completely foreign approach. Students can start learning Spanish as early as first grade. These kids are learning the same concepts as a regular first grader. So city leaders would eventually like to see in every classroom, but gaining acceptance from an entire population is what could draw the most criticism. If the student can learn another language, I think they should take advantage of that. I think it will definitely give them some advantages, let's put it that way. Uh, some of the advantages would be uh, job-oriented in the long run. An alternative way of teaching that hasn't been used anywhere else in Texas. Back 20 years ago, uh, a group of administrators had this crazy idea of starting uh, this uh, uh, language program, Spanish Immersion, and so the program started in 1998, and I was the, the first uh, teacher at Woodridge. There was another teacher at Cambridge. We each had 26 students. It was uh, something that was seen as a little unusual um, of a practice. Ahora van a enseñar como ustedes pueden leer. But it quickly gained admiration um, at when the kids started speaking and they could see the results of what was happening in the classroom. Luego pone las manos así. I think at the beginning people had to understand what our program was. They didn't quite understand. They just knew it was this new program. We were at the forefront of education and trying to convince parents that this was, you know, the future. So about 16 years ago, I got a, a phone call to see if I would be interested in applying um, to be uh, the fifth grade teacher for this program. It was the first group that was going to fifth grade. And so I thought, I love where I teach, but what an opportunity for me to do something new. And so I had that first group and it's, it's just been an amazing ride. I think the biggest challenge was the resources has always been the resources. We were creating our own resources. We were translating our own documents and translating anything so that we would have the equity piece. You know, we wanted to be equitable to our English counterparts. I was just impressed with the program, the fact that we had all these children that wanted to learn Spanish so bad and, and they acquired a language, speaking, reading, and writing it. I called my classroom the fishbowl because we had many people from all over um, observing and looking at what we were doing. My very first experience supporting the Spanish Immersion Program was when I was principal at Cambridge and Dr. Christian at the time came to me about expanding the program. Back then we had one section at every grade level and a parent group had come and approached him about expanding to have two sections at Cambridge. So we were going to add a second section at first grade and then progress to a second section in second grade and, and move throughout fifth grade. And then we would add on the other elementary school. And so it was a really exciting time. I think we went from trying to convince people that this was the program to having a waiting list because people started seeing the results and the benefits of how well the students did. Parents, they really like the program because it's a benefit uh, learning um, a second language and it opens uh, so many doors uh, for the futures of uh, their children. It's huge now and, and, and we know that because now we're not the only school that has a Spanish immersion program. We were just one of the pioneers. So Alamo Heights has also adopted the dual language uh, program and so that had started years later. And uh, so now uh, the program goes through 12th grade. That's how we differ from the other, other districts. And then we're growing that into the high school. For example, in Mexico, in España. They do go into Spanish three immersion and four and five and six. But now we're looking into having um, 
health or speech or some other content area so they can continue to grow their, their language skills. Y expresa la idea contraria. And to this day, we have waiting lists to be either in the Spanish immersion program or in the dual language program. Here at the uh, elementary schools, we have our seniors who are in Spanish 6 uh, participating in a program in which they have kind of an internship. They're working as education partners or helping teachers in the Spanish immersion and dual language programs. This enables them to use their Spanish to help the elementary students. Es emocionante verlos a ellos y escucharlos hablar en, en español. Ellos están orgullosos de que hablan um, una segunda lengua. They really enjoy working with the kids, helping them read, uh, interacting with them in Spanish, and taking the responsibilities if, uh, as a teacher. I feel like our senior experience for the Spanish Immersion and Dual Language program really brings them back full circle. They're aware of the gift that they've had by being in this program and the bilingualism that they've developed, the perspectives that they have, and they're very proud to give back to that program and come back and see that in the younger students. It's nice that we're teaching our future teachers. We have a teacher on our staff right now that is a product of our Spanish Immersion programs. My experience in the Spanish Immersion program was so unique. The whole experience molded who I am today and I went to Texas A&M and majored in bilingual education and so it really grew or who I am today. So I get to have those connections with the kids learning a different language and being in their position. I can connect with them in that way. I am incredibly proud when I get to visit um, with so many different stakeholders. Um, I, I think about my opportunities to visit with others um, in different districts and showcase what's taking place in our classrooms. But then I also get to go visit every year at the end of the year and talk to our seniors who've gone through the program. Done it since first grade and it's honestly been one of like the one of like such a good beneficial thing to, to my life and, and I mean you learn Spanish and you, you learn a whole other language when you're when you're a kid you know and it's really cool. The immersion program is just such it's such an opportunity for kids because I know for me I've been able to use Spanish so much in my life especially living in San Antonio we're exposed to it so much at restaurants just in the community in general looking back and reflecting over their journey of 12 years being in the program and they tell me about what they're gonna do. I have struggled my whole life trying to decide where I want to go career-wise and I thought of a lot of different things but I was really unsure of it and I was never confident in my choice and then about two weeks after the Spanish 6 program which is going to Cambridge and helping out with the younger kids in the classrooms that we grew up in I realized that I had a true passion for teaching and for Spanish, so that really impacted my life because my future is completely different now. The way that they're going to really interact with the world um, from the experience that they've had with us in Alma Heights. Español es muy importante porque puedo hablar a otras personas en otros lugares que no hablan inglés y también puedo experienciar la cultura de otros lugares. I'm really impressed um, and proud with the commitment that Alamo Heights has made um, from, from the start 20 years ago when we decided uh, to, to put our, ourselves on the map as a lighthouse district, um, really prioritizing our experiences for our kids. With those goals of being bilingual, biliterate, and biculturate, our students come away with such an incredible experience and an incredible opportunity for our kids and for our community.